What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today I'm going to be checking out some really awesome car builds that I've seen pop up on my Discord made by a user named Jay and they're just simply fantastic. As you guys know, I love my cars and I love JDM cars as well and he built a whole collection of JDM cars which I am just super excited to check out. We're not going to be able to get through all of them today but we're definitely going to check out a few really neat ones and then maybe check out some other ones in another video. So let's get to it. I think we're going to start with this Nissan S13 Silvia which just looks freaking awesome. I love the two-tone. The two-tone is very iconic on these cars, and this looks awesome. <laughs> this looks wicked. This is a coupe, I'm assuming, and uh, wow, nice. I guess let's get into it, or rather, yeah, you know what, let's get- Man, he did the taillights so well. That's really cool. I like that. He's got the tow hook there, the exhaust. The two-tone is just on point as well. I love it. I love it. The front too, the front as well, yeah, it's got that iconic, you know, uh, Sylvia S13 grill. Oh man, this is neat. I was gonna get into this side, but it's a right-hand drive car, so... <laughs> Wrong side. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Is there a door button? <laughs> uh, actually, let's take a look here, wow. A lot of, a uh, lot of connections, very neat. Alright, well, let's actually try to get into the car, I'm assuming. I can just actually, I get, well... I could raise myself on the lift, but then I won't be able to get rid of the lift. There we go. Perfect. Let's check out all the buttons here. Oh my goodness. There's turn signals. That's fantastic. We can turn all the lights on. Nice. It's got those Sylvia headlights. I love it. I love it. I don't know the proper name. I don't know if they're called bricks or projectors or what, but uh, if you know your Sylvia's, then uh, you know those headlights. And, the, and we've obviously got the right turn signal, but let's uh, let's bomb this thing around the track. I'm really curious to see how it drives. This is so cool, though. This is neat. The amount of like ge like geometrical brainstorming that went into this is is kind of mind blowing, actually. This is very and it drives so well. Oh oh oh! <laughs> sure drifts like one too. Amazing. All right. Oh no. Oh no, there's no handbrake. <laughs> I pressed space for handbrake and it kicked me out. <laughs> That's how you know this thing feels realistic when uh, when you think you're playing like some kind of racing game like, you know, Assetto Corsa or, or Car X or BMG, whatever. <laughs> this drives so well, dude, and it drifts. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is... This is fantastic. I love this thing. Oh, there's a bit of a dirt section here. Interesting. I haven't actually checked out this racetrack. I just slapped a bunch of tiles down into a world, and uh, here we are. <laughs> here we are. This is so neat, dude. I wonder if it has suspension. I'm going to lift this thing up in a second here and see if it's got suspension. I don't think it has any drift assist. I think it just naturally drifts this well. Uh, let's check out the interior, too. Oh man, this is awesome. We have our handbrake there, the shifter. Looks like an auto shifter, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> that's all good. I like the uh, the steering wheel, very cool. It does have three pedals though, so it's definitely definitely a manual. It's really cool how the speedometer and the tachometer actually work. Huh, interesting, what does the right one do? I'm not sure what the right gauge is. Like a turbo pressure gauge? I'm stuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's place this thing down on the lift. I'm just actually curious to see what it looks like underneath. All right, all right, so it does have suspension, very cool. Got all this logic underneath here, very nicely done. Engine up front, nice, he's even got some like engine aesthetics, that's cool. I wonder if you can pop the hood, I don't think so, I didn't see anything that, uh, that would let me do that. Very cool how he's got some of the pieces as well on rotated blocks, so like when you do spawn it in, they all collapse on themselves and actually, you know, make the shape that he wanted to make, that's very cool. Alrighty, let's check out the next one. I think up next, we're going to check out the RX-7 FD. Man, I just, uh, I love these cars in real life. These are, these are awesome. This is cool. It feels like the wheelbase might be a little bit too short, but other than that, oh man, look at the rear end. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I love that so much. That's very cool. I like the T-37s on there. Hashtag T the world. Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, let's hop into this thing. Hey, come on. Come on. Like, yeah, that, that. Perfect. <laughs> very similar interior to the other one, but nevertheless, let's uh, let's check out the turn signals. Nice. Turn signals, perfect. He's even got the side ones. Interesting. That's cool. The fronts as well. Lovely. And oh, he's got pop-ups. Dude, what? 
He's got freaking pop-up lights. Oh, one of them's doing the sleepy eye thing. Let's see if we can uh, knock it into place. Come here, you. Come here, you. Or, or maybe the sleepy eye mod is intentional on this one. I don't know. I don't know. It could be stuck. I don't know. But it could just be doing the sleepy eye thing. All right, here we go. Let's get into this thing. And once again, just like the geometrical effort that went into this is so... F oh, there it is. It popped back up. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. I love the fact that this thing has pop-ups. That's so sick. That is way cool. It's doing some interesting stuff compared to the S13. It definitely drives a bit different and uh, a little bit glitchier almost. Oh, what? He's got the, that rotary backfire exhaust. Man, the attention to detail is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. Jay, you're amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> uh, love it. Love it. I wish it had proper rotary noise, but obviously, you know, that's uh, probably asking a little bit too much. Oh, jeez. That's so cool. I wonder what that effect is, the exhaust effect. Here, let's get rid of the HUD. Get the full view here. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. Uh, I love this thing. This is so cool, man. I honestly can't imagine building something like this myself. Like, I... I don't think I have enough brain juice to, like, figure out what geometric components to use to actually create, you know, the shapes, like, like, recreate the shapes. It's easy enough to build something that is more or less original, you know, like, out of your head, but to actually, like, recreate something that already exists, I think that's definitely a lot harder in a game like this, you know, where your, uh, your blocks are sort of limited, you can't just shape things any way you want. Oh, boy. Who left the lift in the road? <laughs> this thing is awesome. The RX-7 FD is also arguably one of the hardest vehicles to recreate in a blocky game because by nature, the car is very curvy and bubbly, right? So I commend Jay for even attempting this challenge. I mean, it turned out great in my opinion, especially for what the game allows you to do. Jay, where's my rotary? Where's my rotary? That looks like a six cylinder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is fantastic. This is so cool. And it's got that, like, beef tech RX-7 exhaust that you would put on an RX-7. Because, you know, you gotta hear those braps. <laughs> Brap. <laughs> Alrighty, let's check out the next one. Let's see what else we got. R35 GTR. Oh, man, look at this thing. Now, this isn't exactly JDM. Uh, it is a USDM car, it seems. But, nevertheless, it is a Japanese monster. This is cool. Let's drop it down so we can have all the things fold in on themselves. Lovely. Oh, that's cool, man. I love how he did the front end. And, like, just seeing this little red square, obviously, it, it like, means nothing, right? But if you know GTRs and if you know R35s, you know exactly what that little red square is. That's so cool. Got the big brakes on there. Very nice. Oh, man. Look at the rear end. Beautiful. I do wish the, they were round lights. You know, somebody's got to make, like, a proper skyline taillight mod. But, nevertheless, this is very neat. Let's hop into it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go again. You know what? I'm just gonna hop on the hood of this thing. Can I even do that? Perfect. And then I'm just gonna, like, sneak in, you know? Like, bloop. Perfect. Oh, and the freaking lift is still in the way. All right, all right. Let's get the lift out of the way. Get rid of the lift. Get on the hood, because this is how everybody gets into their R35 GTR. I'm confused as to how you're supposed to get into this thing. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, can I get into the passenger seat, maybe? <laughs> oh, no. This is a good uh, anti-theft system right here, you know? <laughs> if you can't get in the car, you can't steal the car. Well, unless you have a tow truck, I guess. There we go. Perfect. All right, left turn signal. Nice. Right turn signal. Very cool. And something I didn't actually check out on the other cars is, is there a reverse light? Oh, nice brake lights. Per there is a reverse light. Dude, that is so cool. That's way neat. All right, let's turn the lights on. Perfect. Let's take this thing for a rip. Is it just me or is the engine noise different? I feel like it might be different. But I don't know. I could be going crazy. This thing drives differently too. I love it. This thing's a drift monster as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 don't, don't hit the curb. <laughs> okay, this drives fantastically. I love it. Dude, this is so cool. If you guys have Scrap Mechanic, definitely check out all these cars because they are heckin' awesome. I will have a list to all the mods that are required for it down below. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely check it out if you have the game. Oh, jeez. 
that was so cool, man. You can, like, you can break and swing the rear end around. Let's try it again. Oh, nice, nice. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, this is so wicked. Nice. I love it. I love it so much. This is fantastic. Oof, oof. Dude, this thing, I think so far, this thing drives the best. Like, out of the three cars that I've checked out so far, I think the Sylvia takes a second place. And, like, it's a very close second place, you know? Like, I, I'm pretty sure in my mind the Sylvia and the R35 are tied. But the R35 is just a little bit, little bit more exciting to drive for some reason. I don't know. It just, it carries the drifts a lot easier. And uh, you don't have to try as hard to actually get it to drift. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. This is fantastic. I wonder if it uses the same, uh, like the same suspension and stuff. Because this does feel different. Or maybe it's just like the weight of the blocks, you know, just the amount of blocks that he used for this one is what makes that difference. I don't know. Let's grab a lift. Let's throw it up on a lift and let's jack it up. Let's see what's up. It looks like exactly the same suspension, really. It does look like it might have more weight, though, because the other cars had more empty space back here. But this car just seems to have more of an underside, so maybe that's the difference, you know? Oh, look at this engine. Holy moly. <laughs> it's a bit of a different engine setup as well. That's cool. Oh, this thing is wicked, man. Yeah, I think so far in terms of driving, this thing is my favorite. Let's just do another quick drift ski here, just because it's literally that much fun. Oh, nice, nice. It carries the drifts quite well, and then you can tap the rear brake and basically, like, set yourself up for a tighter drift. It's nice. Except I keep tapping the zoom in, zoom out button on my view here. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, dude, nice. Hairpin drift, hairpin drift. Not a lot of angle, but I was trying to figure... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was having a hard time mashing all the keys. This is so wicked. All right. Do a big sweeper here if we can. Not really. I didn't have enough speed. That's okay. We're going to do a sweet hairpin right here. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. I'm getting a bit of ahead of myself. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I, uh, I'm mashing the keys a little more than I should be. But this is fantastic, guys. This drives so, so well. I could honestly play with this forever. But let's check out another one. I'm excited to see what else he made. And I love it. everything has the T37s. That's just, that's great. <laughs> now, up next, we have the legendary Lexus LFA. This thing is an absolute beast. And I fully expect to hear some glorious V10 sounds coming out of this thing. Oh, man, the rear end is just, oh, uh, that's so good. <laughs> the rear ends on these cars are so on point. And for me, for some reason, I tend to identify cars more by the rear ends. Um, maybe not the LFA specifically, because I've never actually seen one in person. And there's like 10 of them in all of Canada. Uh, but usually when I see a cool car, it's, uh, it's going faster than me. It's ahead of me. So all I see is the back end. <laughs> but this thing is just awesome. And it is a left-hand drive, it appears. So it's not quite JDM, but it is a Japanese legend in my opinion. Because, well, it was built in the Toyota Motomachi factory. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a crazy car. It's an insane car. And the attention to detail on this this one is also quite fantastic. I mean, once again, it's hard to make curvy things in a game that wasn't meant for it. But, uh, oh boy, what's what's going on with the lag? <laughs> there we go. We're back. We're back. <laughs> but I mean, this is, uh, this is looking way cool. Let's check the underneath quickly just to see if it's the same as the others. I think it might be. Yeah, it does look the same as the other cars. And honestly, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel or in this case, the chassis. If it works, right? If it works, it works. And if what you're trying to do is to build some cool bodies, then I think uh, there's no point in, you know, uh, building a different chassis every time. So I totally, uh, I totally understand that. It does have the T's as well. <laughs> Wonderful. And it's already idling. That's interesting. That's cool. I don't know if the other cars idled or not. Maybe they did and I just didn't notice. But uh, yeah, they probably did. Let's be real here. <laughs> but let's hop into this thing. Let's check it out. Oh boy, come on. 
Let's not let's not be a GTR. All right. Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> My hood entrance is uh, is failing me right now. Oh boy. Here we go. Perfect. That was easy enough. Let's check out our turn signals. Lovely. Nice. Reverse. Ah, uh, look at that one single reverse light. Love it. And then of course we have our uh, our lights. You know, let's uh, let's turn on our lights and take this thing for a rip. I'm excited. It is a bit of a frame tanker, but that's okay. Uh, the, oh, what? It's got the active arrow too? <laughs> Jay, you, uh, you don't, uh, you never cease to amaze me. Like, these cars have so much attention to detail. I know I've already mentioned it a couple of times, but the attention to detail is just fantastic because the more you look, the more you find something really cool, like, like the active arrow on this thing, or for example, you know, the, the flaming exhaust on the RX-7. That, uh, that was really cool. Oh man, this thing is not as good at drifting as the R35, but then again, it wasn't really meant to be a drift car, you know? I mean, neither was the R35, it's an all-wheel drive monster, but, uh, oh boy, oh jeez. It still, uh, still navigates these corners quite well. <laughs> this thing is cool. Definitely not as, uh, as fun to drive as the R35 in my opinion, but once again, it's because I'm a drift boy at heart, so, you know, I, uh, the cars need to drift. <laughs> uh, this is neat, though. Very cool. Nice. Nice. Love the detail. Love the drive. Love the engine sounds. I love that every car has a different engine sound, too. That just, uh, that just makes it that much more awesome. Well, I do want to show off one more car here, I think. Uh, I think it'd be cool to uh, check out a couple more, but, you know, I can't exactly make this video too, too long. If you guys do want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments down below, and I will definitely be sure to showcase more of Jay's awesome JDM vehicles. And if you have Scrap Mechanic, then you can always check them out yourself. But, yeah, this is... these are wicked. <laughs> these are so cool. Very cool car collection. Alright, let's, uh, let's put this thing away. Oh, we never checked out the interior. And I don't know if I checked out the interior on the R35 as well. I have no clue. Ooh, nice speedometer. That's cool. Very neat. Aw, oh, this is nice, man. I don't know where I'm driving. It's so hard to see out of the windshield in all these cars. That's the only thing. First person is fine if, uh, if you can drive blindly. <laughs> I like the center console area, too. Very neat. Aw, oh, this is cool, man. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let's quickly check out the R35. Actually, you know what? We can check out the R35 later because I do want to drive the R35 once more. It's just so fun to drive. But let's check out something else. I was thinking it'd be really cool to check out the Toyota A86 Trueno here because, I mean, this is an iconic car. I'm pretty sure everybody who's into cars has seen Initial D and, uh, and you know, is in love with these cars in one way or another. They're, uh, they're just so, so cool. I wonder if this one has pop-ups as well. I'm gonna have to check that out, but the grill and everything is just so well done, man. Ah, I'm so, so stoked. And it doesn't have T37s. Not that I'm complaining, obviously. I love T37s, but these wheels are just a much better match, I think, for this car. The rear end is looking gorgeous as always, very nice. The red interior is just fantastic. Oh my god, I'm so tiny compared to this thing. Uh, this is cool. All right, I really hope this thing drifts well because I uh, I fully expect it to. Let's uh, let's hop into the seat here. Come on, come on. Eh, perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look at the shifter. Now that's a proper manual shifter. <laughs> the other cars had uh, like an automatic looking shifter, or at least like the S13 and the and the FDRX7, but this is this is neat. The handbrake all the way back there, the red and gray interior, the checkered carpet. Oh man, this is so cool. <laughs> I really like the uh the gauges too, we have an RPM gauge, I'm assuming that, yeah, there you go. And we have a speedometer, and I'm assuming the first one is like a boost gauge? Sorry, the middle one. I'm assuming the middle one is like a boost gauge, that makes sense. But this thing is cool. Let's check out the lights. Turn signals, very good. Very slow blinking, but that's okay. Let's place a bet right now, are we gonna get pop-ups or not? Oh, they want to come up, <laughs> they want to come up. Oh, uh, come on. You can- yes! One came up! <laughs> it's doing the wink. It's doing the wink at me. Oh, come on. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. All right. There you go. Yes, it popped up. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. Ooh, nice. 
It's got that tractor sound as it should, you know? <laughs> it seems to want to veer quite a bit for some reason. I wonder if that's because the wheels are different. One thing I actually noticed, which I haven't really talked about, the suspension on these cars is tuned very well. Like, I can move just a little bit and you see the rear end starting to compress. It's just, it feels so realistic. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let's see if this thing can drift the corner. Might not have enough power, you know? <laughs> oh no, it, it, it really doesn't. It really doesn't, unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> it's fun to drive. It's definitely fun to drive, but it's got, a, it's got a tendency to understeer a little bit. Or maybe just not enough steering angle. I'm not entirely sure. But this is cool, dude. <laughs> I look like a little kid driving it. Look at this. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Oh, yeah. I wish it drifted better. It just it doesn't really drift. I don't know if it's a matter of not having the power. Actually, you know what? I know people don't like it when I mess with other people's creations. But tough luck because I'm going to jack up these engines a little more. Oh, what? Interesting. I wonder what the... Uh what the what the engines are for it's got like an engine for the front and an engine for the back and they were set to different speeds huh okay well what if we just like fully turn off the front engine power and then just jack up the back and see what happens you know is this thing gonna drift oh wrong side again wrong side again i got used to all the r35s and lfas all right here we go baby oh no i think it does need a bit of power up front just to sort of uh, give it traction, you know? I think it's struggling for traction up front. All right, let's give it some power up front there. I'm sure Jay has this finely tuned as good as it can be, you know, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try. Oh, a little bit better, no? Kind of wants to drift now. Woo! <laughs> it, it lags way more, but it sort of wanted to drift there. Well, I think I'm gonna actually check out the r35 again because it's so much fun to drive and i also never checked out the interior i'm pretty sure oh my goodness what's happening it's like pulling a wheelie <laughs> i do wish this thing drifted a little bit better because like i said i am a drift boy at heart but that's okay i mean let's just let's just appreciate how awesome the details are on this car it's so cool it's so dang cool man i love it i love it and the nice thing about older boxy cars is they're a lot easier to make in a game like this. Not that I'm saying this was easy to make, it looks quite intricate. Like for example, yeah, like these are all individual pieces. I'm sorry, Jay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, I, I mean, this couldn't have been easy. You know, this is, uh, this is awesome. I, I love this. But let's check out the R35 again, mainly because I want to take it for another drive. And if you guys want to see more of the vehicles that Jay built, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to make another video checking them out. And like I said, if you have Scrap Mechanic, you should check them out yourself because they are, they are awesome. They, they really are awesome. Come on. Come on. Not this again. Not the, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's go, baby. Let's do some drifting. This thing is just, this thing is just too good, man. It's too good. It's goaded. It's sick. I love it. Jay, you did an amazing job with this one. I mean, they're all sick, but you know what I mean. This is, uh, this one drives fantastically. Oh boy, going out of bounds a bit. <laughs> oh, right, we gotta check out the interior. Nice. Oh, okay, so it's got the same cluster as the LFA, but the center console and all that is different. That's very cool. Very neat. I could honestly play with this thing all day long, guys. It is too much fun. I didn't think there could be such a thing, but it... It's just too much fun. <laughs> um, you guys definitely let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. And if you want to see more of Jay's awesome JDM cars. And I guess I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.